There are three possible origins of the ritual practice. The first is that one day during the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1912, a group of fishermen were catching fish in the bay at Cheung Chao Island. Suddenly, a group of pirates arrived and killed some of the fishermen. The remaining fishermen fought back fiercely and drove the pirates away. The ghosts of the dead fishermen, however, have wandered around ever since. Since then, Tai Ping Ching Chu has been held yearly to comfort the wandering ghosts. Another possible origin is that the bubonic plague broke out on Cheung Chao Island during the Qing Dynasty. Pak Tai, god of the north, came alive and instructed the fishermen to seek help from a monk. The monk performed some rituals and then built the Pak Tai temple. The plague subsequently ended. Since then, Tai Ping Ching Chu has been held every year and the fishermen make offerings to Puk Tai to drive away bad luck. An alternative explanation is also related to the bubonic plague. During the Qing Dynasty, the bubonic plague which had broken out in China first entered Hong Kong and spread throughout the Tai Ping Shan area of Hong Kong Island. Many residents died. A man from the Hailufeng area in the southern part of China moved his statue of Pak Tai into the street and prayed for the well-being of the area. The plague ended. The ritual continued every year until the colonial government banned it for safety reasons. People then moved the yearly ritual to Cheung Chao Island where people from Hailufeng were residing. And since then, it is known as the Tai Ping Ching Chu.